Hey brides, this is for those of you who want to look gorgeous and glowing on your wedding day and at your wedding festivities, but don't want to look made up. Also, please understand that I have a snoring doggy right next to me who's not moving. <laughs> That's the heavy breathing you hear. So we're going to start by pressing some foundation onto our skin and then blending it in with a damp beauty sponge. Now keep this sponge handy because we're going to need it all throughout the look but it's going to not only blend the products seamlessly, it's also gonna take away any excess. So here's a tip, if you have any areas that need a little extra coverage, go back in with some more foundation. It's buildable and then you don't have any discrepancy between the skin that has foundation and the skin that has concealer. So we're gonna put on some cream blush, obviously on the cheeks, but we're also gonna add it to the lips. We're gonna go sheer natural here, so we wanna add and build up product where we can. Tap in your blush, also add a little bit to the eye. It's gonna anchor this whole look. Next, we're gonna take some pressed powder, and I love this because it gives us a little bit more coverage, which we need since we're going so sheer, but it's not gonna look heavy. Press and buff that in just where you tend to get maybe shiny through the T-zone, and then very important, press back in with the beauty sponge. Now take some bronzer, and wherever you want a little extra glow, the cheeks, bridge of the nose, chin, forehead, and especially don't forget the neck. We really wanna make sure to connect the face and chest and not have a kind of glowing white neck. And hey, you guessed it. Press everything in and blend it together with that damp beauty sponge. We're gonna go back into the bronzer and a big fluffy eyeshadow brush starting at the crease, working down to the lash line for some eyeshadow. And then we're gonna take a deeper color and a pencil brush. You can use something that's complementary to your eye color. You can use a brown, a black, whatever you want, just as long as it's slightly deeper than your bronzer. And you're gonna line the sort of outer two thirds of your lower lash line and the entire upper lash line. Instead of using a heavy liner, this is gonna give your eyes a gorgeous presence, which you can see here without creating you know, a heavy liner. Next step, curl your eyelashes, add a couple coats of mascara on the top and the bottom and fill in your brows. Y'all know how to do this already, and if you don't, there's a million tutorials out there for it. Next, you're gonna go in with a little highlighter. This is gonna add some more dimension and life to the face. Don't forget that Cupid's bow and to press some of the powder into the lips. We want sort of an opaque base for our lip gloss, since again, we're going nice and sheer. And I'm using my you know sort of favorite $5 lip gloss here by NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss. And last sort of touch to bring everything together is a little bit of concealer just around the nose and in the hollows of the eyes. It's going to highlight that area, bring it forward, and you know what? We're blending it in with the Beauty Blender. <laughs> As you can see, it just really is a little extra something that makes everything come together. So set everything again with some setting spray, and you're all done. Congratulations.